there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a really quick tip for you today. Um, I mentioned painting on watercolor blocks sometimes because they're so convenient because it's like having a pad of paper the size you want, but you don't have to tape it down or anything because it's all bound on four sides with kind of like um, kind of like a gum tape. So when you finish your painting and you want to take it off, what you want to do is look all the way around because it's on different places on different blocks, uh, but this one's right here in the middle on the front. You'll see a little spot where it's not taped down. Maybe if I hold it to the light, you can kind of see there, right there in the middle, it's not held down. And then what you do is you take a palette knife or credit card or something that you can get in there that's not too sharp because you don't want to slice through your paper and you just go around the edge and you separate it from the top. Now you want to make sure your palette knife is clean so you don't leave a streak on the next sheet of paper. But the really great thing about this is after you take this top paper off, so you can see it's nice and flat, and if you watch my tutorial on this, you know I really soaked the back of that paper. Nice and flat, but now I get a brand new pristine piece of paper to paint on. So there you go, no fuss, no muss. And I think I actually paid about seven bucks for this for 15 sheets on, at uh, at Blick. So um, I know I had a big order and I had a coupon code, but still, I mean, the Strathmore 400 series is quite affordable. Um, I recommend this over the yellow pad, the, the Strathmore 300 series. This one just works uh, it's so much nicer. Um, it'll say Series 400 right here at the top. So I do recommend that. It's a great um, inexpensive paper to work with. Um, I really love arches, but you're looking at, you know, $10 a block versus $30 or $40 a block. So this will certainly work for your uh, practicing endeavors. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time, happy crafting.